I'm here. What's going on guys broken profit here and welcome back to the vlog here is hoping you are having an amazing hump day wednesday middle of the week so today's video guys and i had to be careful how far i lift my arm up because i don't have my sling on today's video i'm not gonna say it's a member request or a viewer request but if you were in my last live stream you know the one where i was multi-streaming to a bunch of different places at once wherever y'all are i'm gonna reach you there don't worry about it but um, a good friend, Master Thriller, said, Prophet, is there a money working that doesn't involve money? Now, at first, I'll admit, I was a little confused on what it is he was asking. Like, was he asking, was there a, a, a money working where you don't, like, put some money down? Because, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll set some money down on top of a candle, right, to stand in for money. You know, or was he asking um, a money working that doesn't involve spending any money? So I asked him, you know, is it the form, you know, which, which one, which option are you talking about here? And he said the former, then somebody, some smart aleck in the chat was going, well, former means the first option, latter, as if I didn't know what former and latter meant. That's why I put you up in the bleachers for the rest of the service. All right. But anyway, I thought about it and I said, hmm, challenge accepted. We're going to go ahead and give you guys a money working that doesn't involve you buying absolutely anything now you did not say when you asked that question if you could just stay in the house no 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 you have to go out and get a few things but not a bunch but when it comes to getting some money isn't it worth it so first and foremost you're going to have to collect two things that are easily found the first pine needles ouch my arm <laughs> I probably shouldn't have lifted with this arm, but I'm right-handed, so it's just natural for me. You're going to need some pine needles. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? But the second is, now if I hold it up, if the camera will, will focus for me, this looks like clover. But you see the, the, the little yellow flowers up there? This is not clover. This is wood sorrels. That's wood, W-O-O-D, right? Sorrels, S-O-R-R-E-L-S. -R -R -E or is it two L's? Anyway, Google it. It'll tell you what it is. Now these, you know, pine needles, pine trees, easy to find. Wood sorrels tend to grow near water, um, well, well manicured lawns. People think of them as weeds. And I hate the fact that we're getting to a place where we only keep the things that we think look pretty and we don't think about their uses. Everything has been put on this planet for a reason. But, you know, pretty soon we're going to be nothing but flowers we think are pretty and animals we eat. That's it. But I digress. We're going to keep it moving. You're going to need some pine needles and some wood sorrel. You're also going to need a bowl. A bowl. Now, preferably, you know, you get you a big old piece of pine needle. Be careful one with the scissors as I'm waving them around, but be careful where you get pine needles from because a lot of times places will um, spray them with insecticide and whatnot. Because the last time I gave you all the working was around the holiday season and you know they sprayed a death out of them Christmas trees. So you're just going to cut off a few of the pine needles, put them in a bowl, okay? Now the wood sorrel, you just put that in there. You don't need the stem, but you can put it in the you can put the stem in there if you want to. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is some water. Now, I'm not handling hot water with y'all, but preferably this would be hot water. Pero en español es agua. 
I'm just kidding. I know my Spanish folks always have a cafetera somewhere, but no. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. Just <laughs> heat you up some water and put it um, and, and pour it over the pine and the wood sorrel. Now, at this point, you are going to pray the 23rd Psalm. OK, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. But remember, if you were in the webinar, the mini boot camp, <clears throat> we spoke about how you can use utilize the 23rd Psalm for any working, which makes it easy to have a Bible verse memorized for workings. You are going to focus as you say the 23rd Psalm, you are going to focus on I shall not want. When you, when you get to the point where it says he maketh me to lie down in green pastures, focus on the green pastures. And, fo and we get to the end and it says, my cup runneth over. These are three key verses that you are going to um, really, really focus on while you are letting this steep. Kind of like tea. I shall not want. The use of the word want in that particular verse means lack. I shall not lack for anything. Meaning, if I don't have some bread, I want some bread. If I don't have some sling uh, uh, medicine, I want some medicine. Meaning, I will not have the spirit of lacking over me to, that will make me want something. Because everything I want, I have. I shall not want. So you will understand that. I shall not want. The green pastures, I want you to think about yourself in, in just green rolling almost just scrooge mcduck type of money green pastures out before you and then especially when you get to my cup runneth over now here's the funny part a lot of people when they get to that part of my cup runneth over they think about gold coins spilling out of a pimp cup you know the um the what was what's that what's that guy's name talk on it little john cup right when you gonna run across some gold coins? I mean, I, I I like the way you're thinking, but remember, we do not create, we don't manifest, we draw, we attract. So it'd be hard for you to attract some gold coins. So when I do this working or any other money working, and I get to the part where I say my cup runneth over, oh, it's stacks and stacks and bundles of bills flowing out of my cup. Okay. Now, this is the point that I love because it, this will start to turn a little green. Okay. It'll start to turn a little green. Now, if y'all see me looking down it's because this is a members only live recording and they're, and they're chatting while I'm trying to record this video. So you too can be here live. Okay. Just become a channel member. So this will start to turn a little green, which is great. Now, what you want to do is, um, sprinkle some outside your door. Oh yeah. Anywhere that you want to attract money, sprinkle some outside of your door. You know, a couple of drops in your wallet. Y'all don't go. Family. Beloveds. Do not go soak in your wallet and stuff in, <laughs> in no, just a couple of drops. Now, another thing. Now the sky is pretty much the limit. With, with this particular mixture. Only thing, don't drink it. <laughs> Just don't do that. But I have had um, people put some in bottles. And when they were, you know, of, of, of the dancing persuasion. And have it on their hands. Then when they go up to the pole. Coming to the stage. Y'all know how I go. And when they went around the pole. They kind of wiped, you know, they kind of wiped it on there a little bit, the little mixture. And it was raining, 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 raining funds. People have sprinkled it around their job and gotten overtime. Remember, magic works on the path of least resistance, meaning the easiest way for that money to be attracted to you is how it's going to come. OK. Now, y'all pretty much get my drift. Wherever it is that you get your money, you want to sprinkle this and it'll bring more money. Sprinkle it outside your business. Sprinkle it, um, you know, outside the gas station where you buy your lotto tickets, your scratch offs. Everywhere that you get your money, because that's the main thing for this. 
everywhere that you get your money, you want to sprinkle this. Now, I know what you say. Well, Prophet, what if I don't really know where the money will come from? You know, is there a way to kind of augment this? I'm glad you asked. You a smart cookie. And sticking with the theme of this, because see, you look water. If you don't pay your water bill, it's free. But if you have not paid your water bill, because I know some of y'all be tricky, private, you can have to buy water. No, you don't. You can set a, a, some something out and um, collect some rainwater. The pine needles and the wood sorrel, that's free. Something else that's free that you can augment this work with is dirt from a crossroad. Now, how would you use dirt from a crossroad? Again, excellent question. I'm glad y'all asked. If you've been in my classes, you know that dirt from a crossroad will, will kind of inject a little bit of um, chance into the equation, right? A little bit of chance. Because I always say, you know, it says magic works through the path of least resistance. However you get your money, when you do a money working, that's how it's going to come. I may get more readings or more people will buy things from www.trueconjure.com. Maybe you will get more and more clients for whatever business you have. Maybe you'll get overtime from, from the job that you're working. But what if, um, but if you use crossroads dirt, you put a little chance in the equation, which means you get opportunities that are not a part of your usual stream. So you're not going to sprinkle dirt in here. No, you're going to sprinkle this into the crossroad dirt, meaning you're going to make just a little bit of mud, almost a paste. And what you're going to do is you're going to take, look, here's my crop. You're going to take your shoe and you're going to make three arrows with the paste, like one, two, three, going upwards from the heel, going upwards to the toe. This paste is going to put a little bit of chance and money drawing into your steps. It will order your steps so that you will be led towards new opportunities for money. You can do the same thing because a lot of you will ask me about remote jobs. Okay. If you don't know, but you want to, you want a remote job, but you don't know who's hiring or where before you start putting in your application, make three arrows on the desk up under the keyboard in which you will be working remotely. And there are, there are arrows, two coming in, one going out. So two arrows, left and right, are facing you as you sit. The third arrow in the middle will go outwards. Okay, that will attract a job remotely. The sky, is, like I said, the sky is pretty much the limit. The only thing that I encourage you guys not to do but a lot of you will attempt to do is add things like cinnamon or coffee because you guys heard that it speeds the work up. And in some instances it does. There are some instances where adding cinnamon or coffee will speed the working up, but you don't want to do it with um, a money drawn working using these ingredients because when you're working with water, hear me out, Water, it kind of cools, calmly flows. Coffee and cinnamon, spiritually and energetically, are hot. They'll cancel each other out, and you'll get no movement at all. Okay? It's kind of like dunking your candle in some water. You ain't drawing nothing with that. So, hopefully, this helped you guys, and you guys got some value from this. Listen, if you have any other suggestions for future videos or spell re work requests, please go ahead and put it down in the chat. And if you don't want to go this route, if you feel the need to sow a spiritual seed, because yes, our ancestors did work like this, but you know what? They also would use some money drawn clone. They use a little bit of Money jar and spray. Candles. If the candle, if the camera will focus. It won't for some reason. 
We have wishing dust. Oh yeah. Money drawing powder. And uh, come on camera. There we go. And money drawing oil that doesn't have a bunch of crap floating in it. We never had a bunch of stuff floating in our oils. Okay. So with that being said, you can get all those things at www.trueconjure.com. But until then, you can go and gather you some crossroad dirt, some wood sorrel, and some pine needles and start drawing that money in the meantime, in between time. Like I said, if you got any value from this video, do me a favor. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and get to working. You guys have been amazing. I will let you guys know that when I'm having an, an, a meet and greet in the next few weeks, I'd love for you all to come down to South Georgia and see the setup in person. And with that being said, y'all have a good rest of your week. Going into the weekend, profit out. Look, give you give you the, the little half salute because I can't bring my wait. Ugh. Profit out.